multi-planetary. The, the, the key to making life multi-planetary is a, a full, fully reusable rocket. That's the key. So, full and rapid reusability, like an aircraft. Um, so it's, it's just very hard to achieve full reusability given um, the strength of Earth's gravity field and the density of the atmosphere. Um, full reusability would be is, is like, well, like relatively easy on Mars, uh, which has uh, around 37, 38 percent of Earth's gravity and about one percent atmospheric density. Uh, but it's uh, it's just barely possible to achieve reusability on Earth. Um, like it's not as though, you know, all the the rocket engineers in the past. It's not as though reus reusability never occurred to them. They, <laughs> I mean, they're well aware of aircraft and other things. It's just that um, it's an incredibly difficult technical problem, and um, they, it, they just thought it was uh, impossible, or the probability of success was so low that it was not worth doing. Um, so, I feel like, um, yeah, I, f I feel like you, you almost had a bit of a. Noah's Ark esque, you know, if you're to get biblical a aspect of the at the last talk was saying how, you know, if you care about life, then and the the true continuation of life on Earth and continuation of life as a consciousness, then you have to have a sustained yeah. planet, you know, another sustained planet off of yeah, Earth. And exactly. I mean, I think, um, you know, if you think really long term, then then you realize that eventually uh, there there will be some natural disaster, if, even if it is not uh, made by humans, that uh, destroys all life on Earth. So eventually the sun will expand and evaporate the oceans and uh, and, and we'll be like Venus, uh, you know, just um, so hot that no life can really exist, or, or maybe some chemotropic bacteria, but eventually even they will, they will die. Um, so the only way to prolong life as we know it uh, is for us to become multi-planetary, 